What's up, guys? Welcome. Ah, spider webs. Welcome back to the channel. I'm gonna be walking into all kinds of crap today. So, uh, I gotta dig this 944S out. It's an 88. And then this one over here. It's a parts car. And we're gonna put that one back together. So, uh, if you like this kind of stuff, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. It's free. And, uh, let me get going because this is what I gotta do. I gotta clean all that crap out of there and I'll probably throw it in that bin there and throw it in that 944. But you know, he's got a bunch of them here. And uh, then I gotta move some of these tires and that's the little hit it took in the front. But uh, once we get these things out, I'll show you the stuff we gotta do and uh, we'll get this thing going. Yeah, it's hot. It's it's hot again today, and I don't like the heat. So, uh, if you went back at my other video a while back, a couple years ago, you'll see that I uh, I was down here grabbing a couple parts for my 944. So, yep. Maybe if I uh, if I do a good job, we'll give me another car. So, but right now, we're taking this one, and we're taking that one. 944S. All the parts are supposed to be in the back. And that is not the original hood. The original hood was crushed. And uh, we're going to get that one taken care of. So, all right, let me. Uh, oh, I forgot my tripod. So, I'm going to try and set you up on these tires over here so you can watch and laugh, me, uh, laugh at me cleaning this crap up. So, uh, stickers too. I wonder how many uh, rodents I'm gonna run into today. It's gonna be fun. guys so i got that cleared up out there <coughs> allergies excuse me so i got that one all cleared up so now i'm going to go around the other side and take the fence apart so but the only problem is that's making a hard left the other wheel straight it makes you wonder it's like hmm what the hell's going on under there so we'll figure that out when we pull it out then i don't know how we're getting this one out yet Cause this bin's full. So, they don't take too much work to go there. But he does have a uh, skid loader. So he can probably pick this bin up. And we'll figure out what's going on after that point. But uh, yeah, let me walk around here. Getting dizzy, right, probably you are too. So uh, I gotta take all these screws out now. So I'm gonna start down here. So uh, we'll be right back. Stepping off the lines you were throwing down Pushing back from the light you're shining round All day just pushing you let me in Because these days they aren't that easy now Just a burden that's why I'm looking down Alright guys so I got that uh, <clears throat> all done This Alright so I got all those uh, I got the tin off the fence and Now I gotta go get a Phillips screwdriver Or Phillips head for the screw gun And uh get these out so i only have to get the two out we don't have to get the top one out hey mr b yeah carpenter b is going to help me do some work here so but uh yeah so that's it it's an 88 and uh they they have a uh 87 uh bumper on it yeah it is what it is but there's two 88 turbo bumpers back there 
for this. And they're red. They need a little bit of work. They need some loving. And it's been sitting since 2016, guys. So we're going to try and get this thing running, which I know we can do. Uh, what I'm going to do is... I'm not going to tell you right now. We're going to, I'm just going to get this thing out of here. So it needs two fenders, the inner piece. So I'll get all that taken care of because uh, that's what the parts car is for. So we can get this thing back on the road. So, uh, yeah, let me go get that Phillips bit and get these posts off. Then we can probably move that trailer and get the skid loader up here and, uh, there's a skid loader there. So, uh, pull this thing out of here. Eh, maybe we can wrap it around there and pull the bumper out now. That sounds like a plan. <laughs> Hopefully it works. <laughs> guys i'm still alive just now got that done uh one screw won't come out so i just rolled it over to the other side and uh it's getting there now it's ready to come out uh he's looking for the keys hopefully he finds it then i gotta figure out why that's making a left hand turn hmm no the other ones both wheels are pointing straight so we'll be all right no biggie no biggie no biggie so uh let's let's take a break
lighten it up. Alright guys, so uh, now what I am going to do is, uh, someone, this car was sitting for a while, years, over there, so someone one day, it was listed, no parts should be taken off of this car, no one should have took any friggin' parts off the car, but someone decided to take some parts off the car, like the low control arm, so we found one in the shop, and uh, now I am going to put that on there, and I might have to get it jacked up a little bit more. So, so let me just grab a jack and get this thing jacked up. It's not gonna work out. So I'll have to go to plan B, which I didn't have a plan B, but now I do. So uh, okay, that control arm there isn't gonna work because it's been waffled. And look up underneath. Ah, let me get down here. Look at the tie rod. So no one stole anything. It just fell off. See, that's where it mounts to. It's all jacked up. Yeah. It's fucked, guys. That shouldn't look like that. So, ow, ow. And I'll just zip tie this shit up. So we're just gonna put it on my trailer with the skid loader. So, uh, yep. I did get a free bird's nest with it, though. Yeah, so that, that comes with it. And this is why the cars are so cheap. When you know people. So, but it does have the good motor. So I'll show you what plan B is going to be. I got to think about it. So uh, let me get this shit all back together and I'll be right back. Me around, running away from what can be found. Then I hope that you can hear the sound of my tears as they are falling down my face. Oh, down my face. guys so now it is time <laughs> i got it in neutral and i moved the trailer you see the tire mark so anyway it's time to get this off the trailer um it's gonna be fun one there's no keys someone stole the keys so we have no keys and the wheel is turned right there two this one doesn't even have a lower control arm at all so it's not even hooked up because it doesn't even have one at all. So I can straighten the wheel out. But I do have dollies I can put on there. And I think I might be able to roll them. But once it gets down into the gravel, it's just going to stop. So uh, this is going to be interesting. So uh, stay tuned. Some of you guys might remember uh, about the Fiero. And I'm like, yeah, he'll be fine. And it rolled down, rolled down, and poof, right into the garage. And uh, 
that was the one right here. That's when it had the look like that, but I stripped it all down. But uh, this time, I really don't think it's gonna roll that far because it can't. I mean, look at the wheels. So uh, let me jack this up and tilt the trailer back a little bit and uh, we'll get moving. <laughs> Guys, I've, obviously you can tell I have no plan. I'm just, uh, just trying to get off the trailer. Two things I don't want it to hit: garage and the 964 Porsche. Yeah, but um, I don't think it's going to make it past the ramps. Seems like I might have to get a ratchet strap and run it to the bumper to the container and then ratchet it off. And if that don't work, just pull the truck away. Uh, that's the plan I have for now. So, I mean, I can't hurt the car more than I can now. As long as I don't hurt the oil pan and the rear, I'm good. Who cares about everything else? Those are the two most important things on this car. So, it's a 944S, you know, Correct. So, bye. Let me uh, get this monstrosity off of this uh, trailer because I got to pick the other one up tomorrow. This ain't going well. Well, you can see it was going well. I got the tires on there. Yeah. And then it hit the brakes. So now I got to put a block of wood under the back tire. And jack this up. I'll put it in gear because I don't want it to roll while I'm jacking it up. And then I'll pull that ramp out a little bit and then we'll just hee ho it right off the trailer. So remember when I said I was uh, worried about the wheel pan? Well, that fell out from underneath and the wheel pan landed on the jack, but it doesn't look like it broke because there's no wheel coming out. So, which is a good thing. And uh, yeah, so. Let me put the brake, brakes on on this, and uh, it's almost there. Once I get them front wheels on the ground, I can just pull the trailer, and we'll be fine. So, until then, let me jack this some ditch up. Yeah, I don't want to hit that. It's a nice car. It's solid, zero rust. Keep sitting outside, it will have rust. Fuck the mosquitoes. Well, I somewhat went as planned. It wasn't a disaster, like I thought it would be. So I went and knock driver's side ramps over a little, and then I gotta knock these over a little. Here, take a look. So see, I just gotta back it up a hair so I can knock that in, in a little bit. So, but the tire, on the other hand, seen better days. So uh, I'm gonna have to jack that up. Put it in gear, jack it up, fix that wheel. And then uh, over here, eh, not too bad. So uh, let me just slide that out. Because what I'm gonna do now is drive away very, very slowly. So uh, this will be all right. But I like to get this over so I can do that. But uh, I guess I could probably jack it up at the rear and, and hit it. So that's what I'm going to go try and do. Yep. All right, guys. It's all set to back up. We'll pull away and have this thing uh, come down nicely. 
Stepping off the lines you were throwing down Pushing back from the light you're shining round All day just wishing you let me in Because these days they aren't that easy now Just a burden that's why I'm looking down What you don't see won't make you late Me cognito slipping in and out of here Nothing much, just a word you wanna hear Over shoulder, try and stay on top again. Dodging questions, dropping lines, driving you insane. It's not what I want, it's what I do. So give me some space. For $89.99, you can have this car right now. It just, just a little out of alignment, a little bit. Nothing major. Yeah, $89.99, you can have this car right now. Won't last long. It's a Porsche. That's what I do. All right, guys, another scorcher. Picked up the other uh, 944 from the projects that I will be doing. So uh, here, take a look at this turd. Even though you've seen it before, but you'll get a little better glimpse of it now. So it's a pretty solid car. Really no rust on it whatsoever. No major dents. Uh, if you remember a long time ago when I did my 944, when I was doing the body work, I had rust here. Well, this is where I got the donor part from. And then I had a little quarter size rust over here too. So it was a quarter size here and like a quarter size there. So I kept cut them out and put it. Well, I will be cutting them off of the S car and put them back on here after I fix that rust down there. I don't know what that then is. Uh, well, it looks like I'll be cutting a rocker off too and uh, popping that on apparently. But as of now, this car is a pretty, pretty solid car. They took the door off and sold it. They stripped a lot of the parts out and sold it. They took the uh, transmission and the transaxle for the automatic out of here. Uh, I do have the axles there in the trunk. Uh, it's got that dent right there. It's got a dent right up there. Uh, it's gonna need work. There's not no uh, swap parts at it and go from there. Like I said, the motor's out of it, transaxle, torque tube's all out of it, trans out of it. Uh, I'll basically do the same thing I did with the red car, but this time, this will be on a very strict budget. So I'm gonna try to repurpose every part that I can. Uh, if I can't, you know, then it is what it is. But I will get all new seals. That's that's a gimme. Definitely going to get all new seals for it. Uh, yeah, pretty solid. I'll get it up on a lift one day. But uh, right now it's going to sit on the trailer. I got to go through it. I want to clean it. I want to clean it up. Uh, I'm going to make room. Actually, I'm going to get the Fierros. Not that one, because that one runs and drives. The other two Fieros over here, I'm going to put them out back in the uh, spots out there. So, um, that's what we're going to get started on, but you're not going to see all that. That that car's hit good. I didn't, I didn't think the car was hit that bad, but...
but you can see that car is friggin' twisted. I mean, they destroyed that front uh, cross member, lower control arm. I don't know if you can see it's twisted now, but that fucking thing is hit hard. You can see the crimples in the back. It's bent back here, it's bent there. It's just waffled all the way around. And it's a shame because, you know, it's a 944S. They didn't make that many of them. Sad to see it go, but that's way too much money to get fixed. You're probably talking over 15000 to put on a frame machine and go from there. It's only 5000 just to slap it on a frame machine nowadays. So they got to hopefully know what the guy is doing. So the majority of parts are back here. Like I said, I'm going to try to reuse all the parts I can from both cars. This is coming off and going on that one. All the inside on this is decent. It's decent enough that it has to get cleaned up. I can clean them carpets up. Door panels are all good. Dash is better than the one over there, which I want to go black anyway. Uh, I think I can recover that dash. I'm going to try to. We're going to see what happens. I do have some material. I think I, that'll be beneficial. And uh, But I want to get this cleaned out. Actually, I'm going to leave these doors open right now. Maybe not. Try to. Alright, so I'm not going to leave these doors open. Uh, but yeah. I'll leave that one open. Just get some air in there because the carpets are wet because damn sunroof. So it is what it is. This one's got airbags and all that shit. So, but I am, it's not gonna, it's gonna have airbags in there, but they're not gonna, they're not gonna work. So, but all right guys, uh, I got some things I have to do and I'll, I'll get back on this. guys so here we go this is the donor car well this is the uh transplant car this one is going to get the transplant of everything uh so but this is a walk around of it now we get like a little intro of this going on and i have my 4g63 oil pin there uh playing games with it because i really don't know what motor i'm going to put in here i don't know if i'm going to put the Mitsubishi motor in here. I don't know if I'm going to do an LS motor in here or if I'm going to put the S motor in here. I, I don't know. I was thinking about getting the S motor running, selling it so I can fund this, you know, all that happy, 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 happy crappy stuff. But uh, yep, so we're going to get some, uh, not today, but I'm going to get some gunk cleaner and spray all that down in there and clean that up i actually washed this today while i was on the trailer it looks a thousand times better uh, the paint ain't that shiny trust me so but uh it's got a lot of work to do and i'm going to start by gutting this thing today taking everything completely out once i get everything completely out and secured you know in the container find its spot in there uh we will then see I want I want to inventory everything, make sure everything's good and all that stuff and yada yada yada. I actually scrubbed that today when I cleaned it. And then we go over to here and uh I mean the dashboards on these things are freaking trashed anyway on both of them. And I don't think you can get that dash anymore. Uh but I'm gonna try and save this one. I'm gonna see if I can fix it. Uh I'll do my best. If it looks like shit, then I'll just try and track one down that looks better than the shitty one that I did. But uh, I think we're going to go black on black. 
I mean, I like to change the color, but all my cars are black on black or red on black. Uh, those 911s black on black. Port, there's a lot of 911s red on black. That 944 is red on black. So we'll probably do black on black. And uh, that's got the script in the uh, seats. So I think I can clean these uh, carpets up. We're going to save them. We're going to try to. If I can't save the carpets, I'm going to try and save these carpets. So I, that's what I'm saying. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do. But I have an idea that I want to do black on black. So. But I think I might take the wiring harness out of this one. Uh, reason is they cut this. I'm going to see how hard it is first. Uh, reason is because they cut this over here when they took the door off. And I don't want no issues down the road. And all that's been open in the elements. And I don't know what kind of rodents might have got in there and chewed up wires. That smells a little moldy, but no rodent -y. So it doesn't smell like any rodents in there. But uh, I want to go ahead today and clean this car up. Get this cleaned up. I want to get the seats out of it. All that crap. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and do that. And uh, I'll be right back, guys. All right, guys, so I uh, got surface rush right there, nothing major. I got this all vacuumed up. I'm still gonna do better because I'm just trying to get the stuff out. This just deteriorated when I pulled that up. Uh, yeah, so I start putting some stuff up there, got stuff in the trash, stuff in the vacuum. So I start working my way around here, start pulling stuff out. And I got all this stuff that I pulled out of the car that was all stuffed in here. You see there's more got the dash pieces up over here and I guess this is why the car was in here so guys make sure you change your belts because if not your car could end up in the junkyard so it's a shame it's a nice little car and uh let's see here sad part was that was still on there 2014 check the last four of the VIN that was right so uh yeah and then they got the front one in there I guess they need two tags I don't know but uh computer's going that sucks it's open to have it because it was automatic so but uh my buddy still might have it I might have to ask him he can look in his little room where he keeps the computers at so uh other than that let's uh keep moving and i'm gonna vacuum this crap up real soon because i hate it all right guys so i got most of the black 944 stripped out uh as i believe i said before the uh driver's seat is frozen rusted kaput went through a can of wd-40 let it sit for a few days tried it every day nothing so i'm gonna try something different today i just tried it again and it was still stuck. So uh doesn't leave me much room. But I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. Hopefully it works. Yep. Bringing out the big guns. Uh, I'm just going to get it and just blast it on that back rail. Uh, I'm going to pull the lever up over there when I do it. But I'm probably just going to go around the rail on the side here. And hit it in the front over there. Maybe I can loosen it up and then I'll give it a try real quick. If that don't work, then I'm going to uh, put the little lever up over there. Even though they're power seats, it still has the levers. So it ain't like I could do anything because it has no fuse box, nothing like that. So there's that one. So I got to get that. But uh, yeah, so uh, let me uh, go hammer away. I just had a workout uh, just sliding back and forth but it worked it worked so it just you can see all the rust it just knocked the rust loose off of there and I was able to slide it back and forth so uh fucked up part is um it's supposed to be all the way forward so I don't know if I 
bent the rails down because I still can't access the back bolts like I did on the other side. Uh, so I can take a look at it, see what's going on, but it's moving. So that's a plus. I'll show you. So you see some of the rust flakes. Some of this is the steering wheel, but most of it's like rust. You see that pile down there? That, that's all the crap that was on there. Look at that. And I was keeping it from uh, moving. So, um, maybe that's the uh, end of the road there? I don't know. That might be the end of the road. But I still can't access. Hold on a sec, guys. Hey, look. right there I might be able to get it I don't know if I can I really really don't so uh I gotta see what's going on sorry I gotta see what's going on so I can uh get this thing to slide forward more I mean it's got to it's got to go forward more so all right let me take a look at it all right guys so this seat is whipping my ass now I literally got one, well, I got the two front ones out, and I got the right side of the frame rail out, or seat rail, I should say. The other one, I think I might have messed it up when I used the air hammer, because it won't go forward anymore, and I'm literally about two inches from getting my Allen key in there and getting it out. So, I got the death chisel out, and uh, I'm going to destroy the seat rail now. Oh, I only need one, but I'm probably not going to use these anyway because they're crap. It would have been nice to have an extra pair of seats laying around now. But who knows what shit and piss and lived in these things. Needs foam and all that. I'm really not too worried about it, not that upset. But they are decent. Uh, but I do have another set of shitty seats that I could probably take the frame rail off of them. But anyway, uh, let me go ahead and knock the shit out of this. All right, guys, so... Uh, it's whooping me. It really is. I'm trying to do like least amount of damage, but I I think I could fix whatever damage I've done. Uh because I really didn't do that. I just had to like grind and file, basically. So, but uh let's take me to the next step. And here we are at the next step. So I'm thinking I'm probably gonna have to cut a hole in that seat right above the frame rail. Uh at least in the uh cushion I, I don't know I, I just gotta cut a hole probably right down in there then i'll be able to get it out i think i don't know i, I just wish that frame rail would just go whoop, forward but it won't so i tried beating that one forward more and it just stops right there and i'm about that far from the uh bolt get my own key in there so, with that said, uh, let me go ahead and do what I got to do. All right, guys. I'm whooped. I got heat stroke. Yeah, I'm nothing like working on a black car outside with the sun beating on you. <laughs> Wait, look at this monstrosity I got going on. One freaking bolt. Just one. And, uh, I'm soaked. I'm hot. Thirsty. Hungry miserable right now but uh success is here there's the bolt so i cut that out and that came out with it there's all the pieces around somewhere i guess uh yeah here's the other piece because i cut a little bit but that's where it was but uh you can see how far in there that was so then i had to get my air hammer and knock that back that way. So now I have access to it. Thought I could take the motor out. Nope, that's on there. And I pried it up and that wasn't budging. And so let me grab my Allen key here. Is this loose? <laughs> Fucking bolts loose. Look at that. I guess maybe from all the vibrations. That was good vibrations. Get that. That up there. I'll grab 
this one. Always save this shit. All right. So now this should be ready to come out. Whoopsie. This should be ready to come out. I hope. I just remember guys, it's not like my 911. And it's not like the uh, early 944s. This literally has two bolts in the back. Might even have two in the front. I forget what the passenger side has. Let me go look. Ah, this is great. I wanted to pick it up and I was like, I want to heave ho it. And I'm like, I was just rusted down. Got the hammer, smacked it a couple times, didn't move. Then I remembered. I mean, it's been like a week. Uh, let's see. Yep, just as I thought. So now I got two bolts there and one there. Let me grab my wrench before I forget that. But uh, now I know. So now I got two more bolts to get. Yay. What fun. I'm gonna grab something to eat and then come back at this monstrosity. All right guys, so I got the second one out. That was, that was fairly easy. I cooled off in the AC and ate some lunch. Now, it looks like I'm gonna have to start this shit all over again. Yeah. So, uh, kind of know what I have to do. And there's nothing there. I done it that with the air hammer. Yep, so. All right, so I'm gonna, basically I'm gonna Hack this off, cut these down along here, cut them up. Uh, I'll take that uh, bolt off, that motor there. I actually cut that up, and then I'll probably cut it right in here. Just cut it right down in there. So that seems like the only thing I can do. At least I'll be able to save the seatbelt. So that'll be a plus. But uh, let me go ahead and get moving and uh, get this thing going. All right. So, this is what happens. So, I. Ow! Damn it, the car's hot. Leaned on it, burned my arms. So, what I did, I figured I took all these off. And the back end was lifting up. So, I took all four of them off. So, I was able to pick it up somewhat. But then under here, there's a nut and shit. Uh, let's see, but trust me, there is. Uh, I cut that piece off up top there where two little rivets are. Then I got my ratchet, same size, lucky, went in there, unratcheted it, pushed the bolt through the other end, and I was able to pick it up. Then that was still being covered, so I got my trusty smacky hammer and just smashed the shell that motor right there and uh, got it. Ha, look at that. There's a dime baggie. I had coke or something it could have been weed i don't know but uh yeah we got a little bit of contraband there again let's see how tight this one is because the other ones were really loose yeah yeah that's coming off too bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. this is great come out you eat lunch and get a clear head and things just go your way how about that? Come on. Now, don't want to come up. There we go. Now, I just want to get my bolt out of there. So, you're going to need that. There we go. It's all stuck down with a half a can of WD-4. Ah, shit, I got to unplug this. I'll be right back. All right. So, I'm going to grab this. Watch you don't cut myself. Uh, walking on over here. So I'm gonna take these motors out probably tomorrow and take the seatbelt off tomorrow and take them handles and crap off tomorrow. So yeah. So the power shit's good to have. Because my black car has power. 
and uh, I got more power seats. So, but finally I got this piece of shit out of here. And throw that shit in the trash. I'll keep the top piece, throw that out. Uh, I'll clean up my mess in here, grab up my change, grab uh, my contraband baggies. Boom. I don't know what that one is. That might be, I don't know what that definitely is. Uh, yeah, so then I'm gonna get all my bolts and get the vacuum out and clean this some bitch up and uh, rip this carpet up. Now we got the center console out. So good times, fun times coming ahead. So let's, uh, let me go get the vacuum. All right, guys. So vacuumed up, looks better. I started labeling my bolts and some of the ones I didn't label because they're obvious on what they are. So now I get a drum roll and I'm dying to see what these floors look like. I'm praying that they're solid because this didn't have a door or a hatch for several years. So I'm hoping it's not rotted. I'm just hoping. It will really, really suck if it is because I don't want to do sheet metal work. I don't want to do fabrication. I, 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 got, I got to do more on that one. I got the other portion there, the 911 I'm doing. That one doesn't need any metal work. That one, I just got to put it together. And same with the Fiero. But I don't want to weld no more. I just want to get these cars done and enjoy them. So, but with that said, how about we go and uh, roll this carpet up? guys so i got the sound denting up and it actually looks good i think that's the glue i don't think that's rust at all if it is it'll sand down so it's not rot so that's that that's a plus then i gotta cut that and get that off because i want this down to bare metal uh i do have like rust bubbles over there which is no biggie uh let me get my seat belts put them up over here cut this carpet and Oh, I got hiccups. Yep. And we'll see if we can pull that sound deadening up too. So uh let me see if I can get this crap up. Oh, 
time it's slipping through these fingertips once again and i know we never stop to linger now it's coming down it's coming down Guys, I got the uh, sound deadening picked up in the back. I started peeling that up. That's a bitch. That's like not like the early cars. It's a lot harder. They, they did some good technology on their glue. Uh, I got the sound deadening up on the tow boards. I got to scrape all this up. I'll get my electric scraper and we'll break that up as well as the other side. Um, probably do that maybe tomorrow morning first thing. And uh, yeah. So we're moving along pretty good on the car. I gotta get it ready. I wanna get it stripped down. I gotta take the dash out next. I got three scrape the floors up because I don't want I got the hiccups still. I don't want no more water getting in this car. Well, it's gonna get in there, but I don't want it sitting around. So and be trapped and stuff like that and cause issues. Uh right now I am extremely lucky. Uh yeah, very, very lucky. If this was a 911, it would be freaking gone. So there won't be anything left of it. But uh, a very well-built car. Kind of uh, water resistant in a way, you know, just doesn't like to penetrate. So, uh, like I said, we'll, we'll work on the dash tomorrow and everything else. I gotta get a couple more bins so I can put this stuff in. Uh, I wanna keep it organized, but basically everything out of that car is gonna go into this car. Even the sections on the quarter panels. So, airbag, the dash, that dash is a lot better than this one. I think I can fix it. Uh, yeah, th I think we'll be uh, moving along pretty, pretty well. Uh, I'm hoping, I, I hate to replace the harness, but if I have to, I will. But that there, I'm hoping that's a plug somewhere. I can unplug it, but I highly, highly doubt it. I really do at this point. Um, but yeah, so let me go ahead and push this car back. And I will see you guys in the morning. All right, guys. So, uh, hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, that's going to be the end of that video. The next one will be a will it run video on the 944S. So, I want to get that motor running in case I put it in here or if I decide to sell it. I don't know. Uh, if you guys, what would you guys do? Would you do an engine swap? What motor would you swap into it if you would? And uh, leave that down in the comments. And uh, if you put the stock motor in it, well, the 944S motor, Leave that in the comments. Let me know. Uh, I'll probably go off of your guys' uh, decision on that one. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and get this dash taken out real soon. And uh, we're going to go from there. But uh, I'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching.